Chapter 33 And the Lord said unto Moses, Depart, and go VP hence, thou and the people which thou hast brought VP out of the land of Egypt. Then to the land which I swear then to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Icob, saying, Unto thy seed will I drew it. And I will send an angel before thee, and I will dry out the Canaanite, the Amorite, and the Hittite, and the Prisit, the Hewitt, and the Ibisit, unto a land flowing with milk and honey, for I will not go VP in the midst of thee, for thou art a stiffenecked people, lest I consume thee in the way. And when the people heard these ill tidings, they mourned, and no man did put on him his ornaments. For the Lord had saved unto Moses, save unto the children of Israel, ye are a stiffenecked people. I will come VP into the midst of thee in a moment, and consume thee, therefore now put off thy ornaments from thee, that I may know what to do unto thee. And the children of Israel stripped themselves of their ornaments, by the Mount Horeb, and Moses took the tabernacle, and pitched it without the camp, afar off from the camp, and called it the tabernacle of the congregation. And it came to pass, eh, that Uri one which sought the Lord, went out unto the tabernacle of the congregation, which was without the camp. And it came to pass, eh, when Moses went out unto the tabernacle, that all the people rose VP, and stood Uri man at his tent dory, and looked after Moses, until he was gone into the tabernacle. And it came to pass a as Moses entered into the tabernacle. The cloudy pillar descended, and stood at the dory of the tabernacle. And the Lord talked with Moses. And all the people saw the cloudy pillar stand at the tabernacle dory. And all the people rose VP, and worshipped Uri man in his tent dory. And the Lord spake unto Moses face to face, as a man speaketh unto his friend. And he turned again into the camp. But his servant Ashua the son of Nun, a young man, departed not out of the tabernacle. And Moses said unto the Lord, See, thou sayest unto me, Bring thee pee this people, and thou hast not let me know whom thou wilt send with me. Yet thou hast said, I know thee by name, and thou hast also found grace in my sight. Now therefore, I pray thee, if I have found grace in thy sight, show me now thy way that I may know thee that I may find grace in thy sight, and consider that this nation is thy people. And he said, My presence shall go with thee, and I will do thee rest. And he said unto him, If thy presence go not with me, carry verses not be hence. For wherein shall it be known here, that I and thy people have found grace in thy sight? Is it not in that thou gost with verses? So shall we be separated, I and thy people, from all the people that are upon the face of the earth. And the Lord said unto Moses, I will do this thing also that thou hast spoken, for thou hast found grace in my sight, and I know thee by name. And he said, I beseech thee, shew me thy glory. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before thee. And I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee, and will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and will shew mercy on whom I will shew mercy. And he said, Thou canst not see my face, for there shall no man see me, and loo. And the Lord said, Behold, there is a place by me, and thou shalt stand upon a rock. And it shall come to pass, say, Will my glory passeth by, then I will put thee in a cliff of the rock, and will core thee with my hand, while I pass, say, by. And I will take away mine hand, and thou shalt see my back parts, but my face shall not be seen. Chapter 34 And the Lord said unto Moses, Hew thee two tables of stone, like unto the first, and I will write upon these tables the words that were in the first tables which thou breakest, and be ready in the morning, and come VP in the morning unto Mount Sinai, and present thyself there to me, in the top of the mount, and no man shall come VP with thee, neither let any man be seen throughout all the mount, neither let the flocks nor herds feed before that mount. And he hewed two tables of stone, like Vinto the first, and Moses rose VP early in the morning, and went VP Vinto Mount Sinai, 
as the Lord had commanded him, and took in his hand the two tables of stone. And the Lord descended in the cloud, and stood with him there, and proclaimed the name of the Lord. And the Lord passed by before him, and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering, and abundant in goodness and truth, keeping mercy for thousands, forgying iniquity and transgression and sin, and that will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, and upon the children's children until the third and to the fourth generation. And Moses made haste, and bowed his head toward the earth, and worshipped. And he said, If now I have found grace in thy sight, O Lord, let my Lord, I pray thee, go amongst verses. For it is a stiff-necked people, and pardon our iniquity, and our sin, and take verses for thine inheritance. And he said, Behold, I make a quenant before all thy people. I will do more wiles, such as how not been done in all the earth, nor in any nation. And all the people amongst which thou art shall see the work of the Lord. For it is a terrible thing that I will do with thee. Observe thou that which I command thee this day, behold. I dry out before thee the Amorite, and the Canaanite, and the Hittite, and the Prizit, and the Hewit, and the Ibiset. Take heed to thyself, lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land whither thou gost lest it be for a snare in the midst of thee. But ye shall destroy their altars, break their images, and cut down their grooves. For thou shalt worship no other god, for the Lord, whose name is Ilus, is a yellous god, lest thou make a quenon with the inhabitants of the land. And they go a-whoring after their gods, and do sacrifice unto their gods, and one call thee, and thou eat of his sacrifice, and thou take of their daughters unto thy sons and their daughters go a-whoring after their gods, and make thy sons go a-whoring after their gods. Thou shalt make thee no molten gods. The feast of Vluin bread shalt thou keep, so in days thou shalt eat Vluin bread, as I commanded thee in the time of the Monithabib, for in the Monithabib thou camest out from Egypt. All that openeth the matrix is mine, and you firstling amongst thy cattle, whether ox or sheep, that is male. But the firstling of Ennis thou shalt redeem with a lamb, and if thou redeem him not, then shalt thou break his neck. All the firstborn of thy sons thou shalt redeem, and none shall appear before me empty. Six days thou shalt work, but on the suant day thou shalt rest, in hearing time and in heroist thou shalt rest. And thou shalt observe the feast of weeks, of the first fruits of wheat heroist, and the feast of ingathering at the year's end. Thrice in the year shall all your men children appear before the Lord God, the God of Israel. For I will cast out the nations before thee, and enlarge thy borders, neither shall any man desire thy land, when thou shalt go feepy to appear before the Lord thy God, thrice in the year. Thou shalt not offer the blood of my sacrifice with Loan, neither shall the sacrifice of the feast of Pashir be left until the morning. The first of the first fruits of thy land thou shalt bring unto the house of the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not see the kid in his mother's milk. And the Lord said unto Moses, Write thou these words, for after the tenor of these words, I how made a quenon with thee, and with Israel. And he was there with the Lord forty days and forty nights. He did neither eat bread, nor drink water. And he wrote upon the tables the words of the quenon, the Ten Commandments. And it came to pass a when Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tables of testimony in Moses' hand, when he came down from the mount, that Moses wist not that the skin of his face shone while he talked with him. And when Aaron and all the children of Israel saw Moses, behold, the skin of his face shone, and they were afraid to come nigh him. And Moses called Vento them, and Aaron and all the rulers of the congregation returned Vento him, and Moses talked with them. And afterward all the children of Israel came nigh, and he got them in commandment all that the Lord had spoken with him in Mount Sinai. And till Moses had done speaking with them, he put a veil on his face. But when Moses went in before the Lord to speak with him, he took the veil off, 
until he came out, and he came out and spake and told the children of Israel that which he was commanded. And the children of Israel saw the face of Moses, that the skin of Moses' face shone, and Moses put the veil upon his face again, till he went in to speak with him. Chapter 35 And Moses gathered all the congregation of the children of Israel together, and said unto them, These are the words which the Lord hath commanded, that ye should do them. Six days shall work be done, but on the suant day there shall be to you an holy day, a Sabbath of rest to the Lord, whosoever doth work therein, shall be put to death. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. And Moses spake unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, saying, This is the thing which the Lord commanded, saying, Take ye from amongst you an offering then to the Lord, whosoever is of a willing heart, let him bring it an offering of the Lord, gold, and silver, and brass, and blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine linen, and goat's hair and ram skins dyed red, and badger skins, and shittim wood, and oil for the light, and spices for anointing oil, and for the sweet incense, and onyx stones, and stones to be set for the ephod, and for the breastplate. And Uri wise-hearted among you shall come and make all that the Lord hath commanded the tabernacle his tent, and his coring his tatches, and his bars his pillars, and his sockets, the ark and the stars thereof with the mercy seat, and the uel of the coring, the table and his stars, and all his vessels, and the shewbread, the candlestick also for the light, and his furniture, and his lamps with the oil for the light and the incense altar, and his stars, and the anointing oil, and the sweet incense, and the hanging for the dory, at the entering in of the tabernacle, the altar of burnt offering with his breast and great, his stars, and all his vessels, the lower and his foot, the hangings of the court, his pillars, and their sockets, and the hanging for the dory of the court the pins of the tabernacle, and the pins of the court, and their cords, the clothes of Cyrus, to do Cyrus in the holy place, the holy garments for Aaron the priest, and the garments of his sons to minister in the priest's office. And all the congregation of the children of Israel departed from the presence of Moses. And they came Uri one whose heart stirred him VP, and Uri one whom his spirit made willing and they brought the Lord's offering to the work of the tabernacle of the congregation, and for all his service, and for the holy garments. And they came both men and women, as many as were willing-hearted, and brought bracelets, and earrings, and rings, and tablets, all yules of gold. And Uri man that offered, offered an offering of gold unto the Lord. And Uri man with whom was found blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine linen, and goat's hair, and red skins of rams, and badger's skins, brought them. Uri one that did offer an offering of silver and brass, brought the Lord's offering. And Uri man with whom was found shittim wood for any work of the seerus, brought it. And all the women that were wise-hearted, did spin with their hands, and brought that which they had spun, both of blue, and of purple, and of scarlet, and of fine linen. And all the women whose hearts stirred them VP in wisdom, spun goat's hair. And the rulers brought onyx stones, and stones to be set for the ephod, and for the breastplate, and spice, and oil for the light, and for the anointing oil, and for the sweet incense. The children of Israel brought a willing offering unto the Lord, Uri man and woman, whose heart made them willing to bring for all manner of work, which the Lord had commanded to be made by the hands of Moses. And Moses said then to the children of Israel, See, the Lord hath called by name Bezaleel the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. And he hath filled him with the Spirit of God, in wisdom, in understanding, and in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship. And to do curious works, who work in gold, and in silver, and in brass and in the cutting of stones, to set them, and in crewing of wood, to make any manner of cunning work. 
and he hath put in his heart that he may teach both he and Eliab the son of Ahismech of the tribe of Dan. Them hath he filled with wisdom of heart, to work all manner of work, of the engroar, and of the cunning workman, and of the embroiderer, in blue, and in purple, in scarlet, and in fine linen, and of the weir. You and of them that do any work, and of those that do's cunning work.